Hi, I'm Peter Kanström of Kanström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about version history. It's a very important feature of SharePoint 2013 and also on previous versions of SharePoint, by the way. It's enabled by default on document libraries and you can very easily use it. You don't have to do anything in a document library. So let's see if I go into this five-year financial plan, open that in Excel online and I will edit the workbook in Excel online and just do some minor change here. Let's just change this color here and make that yellow instead so we have something very visible to see here. I'll just put that in yellow. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? And I, of course in Excel online I don't have to save anything. It gets saved automatically. So now if I go into the little drop down here you'll see that I do get the yellow there. On version history, I can see that it was modified by me a few seconds ago. Now, if I want to go back to the previous version, I can just click this link here like that and it opens up in Excel then. But you'll notice now that I don't get the yellow band that I added there. So if I want to make this the latest version, I'll restore that. And of course, I do need to change the properties also, and I'll select the quotes from 2013, like that. And then I'll just save it there. Save. Now it's getting saved back into my SharePoint site. If I check that out now, you'll notice that now I'm back to the blue heading there. That's how easy it is to work with version history, and it's enabled by default on all document libraries. However, if you create a list, if you add an app based on the list templates, such as the announcements, for example, I'll just call that news, that list does not have the version history enabled. None of the lists do. So you'd need to go into versioning settings and enable that on that list. Create a version each time you edit and in this list. If you want to, you can, of course, also limit the number of versions that you keep, but that's less useful, really. And in terms of lists, saving multiple versions of a list doesn't use up much space on your SharePoint site at all. So you don't have to worry about that. When it comes to documents, of course, if you have very many versions and large files, that does use up your space. But when it comes to lists, just enable and enjoy having your change log right there in any list. Thank you for watching this demonstration on the version history.